Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, for today's Debt Free Friday, which it might be Saturday before you get this video just because life. Um, but I wanted to talk about some things that you might be doing that you can't afford that maybe you haven't thought about. Um, if you've been following my channel or watching some of my debt free videos, you know that I like to give like financial advice or budgeting advice when I give it. I like to give it to people who are like not just balling, but maybe you are living on one income or two lower incomes because I think a lot of times like our people group, we think like, okay, we can't get out of debt because we're just trying to make it to the next paycheck. But that's not true because a lot of times we're the ones with the motivation and the focus to do it. Um, so today's video, I want to give out nine tips of things that you could be doing um, that you can't afford to do and that if you just cut it out, you could find some more money and reach your goals faster, okay? So I have some notes down here. Um, I'm gonna start with the one that I'm most passionate about and end with one that I'm most passionate about. So number one, eating out. I cringe when I see people eating out more than they eat at home. Um, especially if you have a family, like that's, it's just going to be more expensive. It's gonna be more expensive and it's unhealthy. Um, sometimes, I know you can eat out healthy, but then you're really talking about spending some money. But Get you a grocery routines. You can watch my video on that. Buy you an Instapot for like a hundred bucks and cook at home. You're gonna save so much money. Um, number two, paying someone to like groom you and do all this stuff. If you are in debt, trying to get out of debt, trying to save money, whatever, you don't have 200, $100 to be paying somebody to do your hair. Um, the only thing I get done is my eyebrows because as you can see, I don't have any makeup on right now. They're like small and baby eyebrows already, so I can't be doing them and messing them up. But like hair, my kids hair, um, we do all of that. Like we don't go, my husband gets a haircut because he's a professional, he can't be looking crazy. Um, but even there was a time where like we didn't pay full price his haircut. Like he would go to the school, I think, and it was like $5. Um, and if we ever had like a boy or like whatever, I would, I would learn to cut some hair. I don't know how it's gonna look, but I would learn. Um, so nails, I don't, mm -mm, I don't pay anybody to do that. It's just not the season for that. And I know eventually, yeah, I'll walk to a nail place, get my nails done, but not this season. Um, number three, paying a car payment. One of my biggest regrets is buying a car with a big car payment. That is just crazy. Like the interest rate is ridiculous. I know you've heard this all before, but if you have a car and you have a big old car note, try to get out of that thing. Like don't mess up your credit. Like if you're in it and you only have a few months left, pay it off, don't do it again, learn your lesson. If you're upside down on the note, see if, if you can sell it, pay it off. Whatever you do to get out of that car note, that is the biggest chunk of change that we waste so much on. Me and my husband both have like, old cars, we're fine with them. We take pride in our old cars. We get out with no shame next to our friends with their new cars. We don't care. Um, my husband's truck is like for real old, like no AC old. So yeah, there's that. Um, number four, not keeping a budget. Like budgeting is like, I don't know, adulting one-on-one, like you need a budget. You need a budget. If you get paid and you just spend your money however you want and you don't sit down and write down, where every dollar goes, then that's not okay. Um, I don't care if you're not in debt, you need to know where your money's going. And I think next week I'm gonna do a video on just like basic budgeting, like pen and paper, old school, how do you budget? Um, <clears throat> number five, paying for entertainment, um, whether it's cable or clubbing, I don't know, whatever you do, stop paying for entertainment. Like. As far as TV goes, there's so many alternatives. Netflix, Hulu, you don't even pay for cable. Um, sorry y'all, my allergies again are killing me. Um, as far as entertainment, yeah, go to each other's house, go outside, go to free parks. They still have those. The library, like get creative. Stop paying all this money for entertainment. Um, number six, I guess this is kind of controversial buying people gifts we live in an age where everybody gets invited to everybody's birthday party little kids have you know birthday parties all the way up until they're 18 i guess i don't know whatever um not to mention christmas christmas drives me crazy it's like the time of year everybody's broke 
everybody stressed trying to impress everybody else and I'm like it would be such a gift to one another if we just said hey we're all on a budget this year let's not do 30 gifts that everybody can't afford um maybe like one thing me and my husband do was we do like acts of service for people like he'll do their lawn or you know I don't know whatever gifts you have organize something in your house or watch your kids for free day nights whatever just get creative because I feel like we try to impress each other we feel like the stigma to have to be able to afford to get people stuff like it's okay like you don't have to be able to afford to get people gifts um number seven being shy about your financial situation um once you become unapologetic about your financial situation about whether you're trying to save whether you have financial goals when, once you become i'm not saying you gotta go around to everybody how much you make and how much you got in your budget to spend this month no but when you're like oh no like that's not in my budget this month i'm not doing that there's so much freedom in that and um i'm not gonna lie to you like you know one or, th one or three things gonna happen one so people might talk about you i've had people be like oh that's not in my budget i can't do that those aren't your people like people who mock you and think it's funny those aren't your people anyways um or two people respect you for having a budget and they feel free to be around you to live below their means they don't feel like y'all are like trying to impress each other and like eat out a little time even though both of y'all are sh like it's straining both of y'all financially like yeah and then number three like god or the universe or whatever you want to use um i don't know i feel like he sees that and he he honors um your faithfulness with little and blesses you with more um number eight shopping be a minimalist if whatever you have to do to make it sound cool but just stop shopping like your kids don't need several outfits you don't need fancy several outfits especially not in the season of trying to get financially um in a better situation your kids can wear thrift store clothes they only need a few outfits they're kids they're gonna outgrow them they're gonna get stains on them it just is what it is even when you take them somewhere like as long as they don't wear that stain outfit when you take them somewhere just do their hair um if someone has a problem with it or wants them to look different then they can get them something like literally like my mom my husband's mom like they're like oh you know we want the girls to look nice guess what they do they buy them outfits we're okay with that and we know like i know that's not everybody's situation but we're fine with that so they know what we're gonna buy them is thrift store hand-me-downs like that's what they're gonna wear so <laughs> it just is what it is but they, they they get them something and everybody wins um number nine last tip um of something that we're doing that we can't afford uh living on our own or paying a lot for rent um i know like for some reason the states like controversial like once you're 18 you should be out of the house um, why are you living with your mama? Um, so many different things. And then I see people like run out of the house and before they're ready. And I'm not talking about bumming off of people and just living with someone for years, not contributing and, you know, being lazy. Like that's not what I'm talking about. But if you're not ready to move out, you have student loans or say you're single, you just graduated college, you blessed to get a job in your home, stay home for a year, pay off your student loans, then move out. You know what I mean? Or even if you're married, whatever it might be, don't be afraid to be like looking at your living situation, be like something's gotta change because there's a lot of money in that. Um, if you're trying to live in the hot place in town because you're young, like you're throwing away a lot of money. And it's, it, it's just silly guys, it's silly. And then I think about in a lot of other countries, you don't get to move out of your mom's house until you're like 30 something. Because in other countries, even if you get married before that, but in other countries, um when you buy a house you're paying for that house like you're paying for it there's no mortgage or n nothing like that like if you're buying a car you're paying for the car and so they have to go about things differently and, and if you're one of those people that's like i can't live with nobody like because i don't get along with anybody then you know that's that, that's a problem there, that's that's some room for some spiritual growth right there um but anyways i hope it was helpful sorry i kind of went on a rant um just comment below anything that you do to cut to make space and wiggle room in your budget any tips that i mentioned that you're going to be using as usual like this video comment below um and subscribe to our channel love y'all bye